If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I, I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! her alone. Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Time to die! <laughs> Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building.
This is our turn. For trouble. You're no trouble friend of ours. ours. will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. 
And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir! are a fool, but thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist, and he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. You're hanging a man in the old fort. These ruffians are part of the same gang who made trouble for the family. You have nowhere to go! Christopher Guest! I'm Shane Cormac! Charles! 
But what are you doing here, if you don't mind me asking? The colonel sent me. Aha! Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste. She's a fine ship, and true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's 
Long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! Captain has the helm! The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. Full sail ahead, lads! We're heading hard for land, sir! Blues up! These are sticks! Three! Shorten all sail! Douse all sail! Spread those sheets! Anchor! Good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. Could be valuable it's always the little fella who gets skinned. 
Colonel, fire. you and Gist here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or in the whiskey. Now why do you say that, Cormac? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. Crowd on every inch of sail. Don't all but mates. Surely, Hold the men! Get off the wind! Anchor away! Charles, tu remplaces tes riens jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. On double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Charles, tu remplaces tes riens jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. C'est pas l'ombre d'un meurtrier. Interrogeons les ballons pour ce cerveau. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. On double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Charles, tu remplaces tes riens jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. You just unlocked new possibilities. Ah! 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 Ah!
J'ai une dette envers vous. Merci. Pas ce que j'aurais fait sans vous, cher monsieur.
ton cas. Materials to give them more. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Go to your cabin to arrange the work. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan! Captain has heard some sail! Your ship is in fine form, Master. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender. No? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. There's our target! We Fire! Ah! Missed! Ready, Fire! Captain! 
and catch the wind! Fire! Catch some wood! We have the goods. Let us check out the Morgan and new finery. Trim the yards off the wind! Superb! Now find the fort commander! Let the anchor go! Thank <laughs> you. 
Chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. At your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. 